it's on. <laughs> I never know what to do for an intro. Why is this so hard? <laughs> it's hard. Why is this hard? <laughs> Hello? I might just put this in at the beginning of the video and call it an intro. Hey guys, so as you can see, today is a little different. I'm usually filming in my room or inside somewhere. Today we're outside and it's bright. I want to go inside. Not really. It actually feels really good out here. Anyway, so what we're doing today is I'm going to make a song. And I'm going to make a song out of this. <laughs> out of nature. We're in the backyard and I'm going to make a song out of just bushes and grass and whatever I can find. So, can you do like a little pan of like what you have in your backyard? Mm. Like, we got some bushes, we got this canopy, we got a hand. I'm calling anything out here fair game, like even the fence, that weird little rake thing right there. The bees, sign, trees, hoses, metal, anything. Like anything in this backyard, I'm counting fair game. Not just like actual nature stuff, but anything in the backyard. So, yeah. That's a good intro. That, that's a good intro. A good Probably intro. better than just like standing here and being like, okay, so anyway. I don't, as much as I wish I did, I don't have a fancy recorder thing. I don't know what they're called besides a recorder. Not like the, the instrument recorder. I'll just put a picture up here. You can see what it looks like. It's just like this handheld brick looking thing with like two crossy microphones. I wish I had one of those, but I don't. So, I'm using my phone and hopefully it'll do good enough. Also, peep DIY t-shirt. Oh, yeah. I made this myself with Audrey. Yay. We did a tie-dye shirt video. I don't know when it'll be going up, but make sure you're watching her channel to see when it comes up because it was super fun. And oh, I actually really, <laughs> really liked how this t-shirt turned out. I'm going to wear really it good. forever. Yay. Yay. So the way I'm going to do this is, at first I thought I was going to just like, oh my gosh, my phone. You can't even like see my phone screen. It's so dark. It's very dark. Oh. Can you see that? Anyway, so the way I was originally going to do this is I was going to create a separate recording for each sample that I took, but then I was like, you know what? That's boring. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it running. I'm just going to leave it running, and also that means that any of like my talking in the recording, that's also fair game. You might not recognize it because I might just like mess it up so hard <laughs> that it's not audible, like not coherent anymore, but it'll be fair game. So, we're just in the backyard. I'm gonna wander around, take some weird sounds from everywhere, and anything that winds up in this recording is fair game. And yeah, go. Is it going? Okay. Cool. Where to begin? Yeah, maybe I could just like. <laughs> okay. Take the stick. I'm gonna whack this. So I have to use it. You <laughs> <Like a> bug. <laughs> Go for it. This ain't Animal Crossing. <laughs> So I've got like five minutes of samples at this point, so I'll probably do like one or two more things and call it good. Also, my wonderful girlfriend Audrey <laughs> has been helping me film. Why don't you just turn around the camera? Hi! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the person behind the camera that's like, ooh, ah, yeah. <laughs> Love her commentary. Yeah, she's doing doing a great job. Thanks. You're welcome. This is fun. <laughs> okay, so. A heater thing? Phone. Exciting. Exciting! Oh my gosh, you actually did it! <laughs> I didn't have my case on either. I ended in the grass though, so it should be Yeah, fine. you're lucky it didn't. <laughs> if I, if right I accidentally just threw me? it on the concrete, rip my phone. Oh gosh. Okay, so I just threw my phone for you guys. Like and subscribe. Like the video. Subscribe. I look at my analytics. Half of you aren't subscribed. 
<laughs> it takes two seconds. You're watching the video. Yeah, Just hit the subscribe. red button. <laughs> okay, guys, five second subscribe challenge. See if you can hit the subscribe button in five seconds. If you know, you know. <laughs> okay, anyway, production type. Bye. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's been a couple days since I got my samples, but I just wanted to sit down and run you through what I did with the samples, and then I'm going to run you through with how I meshed them into a full song. And so, I'll try to run you through the, the samples in the song one by one, so you can hear bits and pieces, but I'm going to make you wait till I get done with all this to hear the full song. Anyway, so some of these samples I didn't actually use, like this one, this this rustly one, I didn't actually use that, I don't think. But anyway, what I did is I took this little uh, effect. This is called an equalizer. And what an equalizer does is it lets you carve out uh, what frequencies of the sound that you do want and what frequencies, and lets you like, cut out what frequencies of the sound that you don't want. So with sound like lower notes have lower frequencies, higher notes have higher frequencies. And so it just lets you kind of like get rid of the high end or the low end or the middle parts of a sound. And so basically I used this to just cut out all this, which was just like background noise, I think. Yeah, do you hear that? It's probably easier to hear with headphones on, but when I stick that way back up there, then you can hear like the wind in the background, but when I put this back down here, since it cuts out all these frequencies, you don't hear the wind anymore. Also, the blue line, like what falls under the blue line is what frequencies are permitted. So this is basically how far up the volume is, like how far the knob up is, is determines like how loud the frequency is, is a, it, the, how loud the frequency is at that point. So if this one sits at this, then everything, bo everything behind the one is at like zero volume, so you're not gonna hear it at all. And this would be as if everything, that blue line behind the one is at the highest volume. So anyway, so that's the little rustle sound. I don't think I actually ever used that one though. This one I named, I named this one helicopter because it just has this kind of like whoa, 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 sound. Which honestly, it kind of sounds like a bird flapping way, but regrettably, I regrettably, regretfully, I never know which which word it is. Is it regrettably or is it regretfully? I think it's regretfully? I don't know. I don't think I used this one in the song either. I made all these samples, took all the time to make these samples, and I ended up only using like half of them, which is sad. This one... This was me just rustling around in the bushes. I thought I might use it for ambience. I don't think I did. This, I did use this one. This is my shaker sound. I basically, in the thing I'll show you, I cut out like the very first two, like and that's my shaker sound in the song. So that just goes like in the background the whole time. Um, I don't think I used this one. I named it DJ because it sounds like one of those like, like, I don't know, like you just, I don't know how to explain it. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Just like the widget sound. I'm so bad at explaining this. This is my chime. This is when I hit the hammock pole with a stick. And yes, I did use it in the song at the very end. But I did use my kicks in the song. The little, I think that was me kicking the trash can. And this one's me uh, stomping my foot down on that like sprinkler cover. I've basically just EQ'd all of these. I had a compressor on this at one point to see if I could use a compressor to get it louder, but I ultimately disabled it because I didn't, I, I couldn't figure it out. What a compressor does is it basically just takes out the dynamic range of the sound. So it's pretty useful for vocals because vocals are very like dynamic when you're singing like the low part of your range then it's hard to have a lot of volume then when you're singing at your high part of the range is a very well demonstrated in my react video and i'm so sorry when i just like shouted right and i just shouted without warning at the very top of my range rip headphone users i'm so sorry please forgive me i mean like there's not really much i can do about it at this point 
I'm sorry. Um, so yeah. So a compressor would basically just make those low parts louder and the high parts quieter, so it just reduces the dynamic range of the sound. Which I figured that maybe if it reduced it, it could maybe use it to just get it louder in general, but not really. So <laughs> I said anything that my phone recorded was fair game. And so while I was recording my samples, my phone got some notifications. So this sound is actually the sound of my phone vibrating. <laughs> which is actually the sound that I used for like most of my bass and stuff. I think I used this sample the most out of all of them, which some people might think is cool. Others might think it's lame, expecting a whole bunch of sounds out of outside sounds and most of the songs that, now that I think about it, that is kind of lame, but that's what I ended up using for a lot of it. But I do have some interesting sounds there. I did use this. That's not the sound, this, this one, this little clap. I don't remember where this sound came from. I got some reverb on it so it echoes a little bit. Oh, and on the the buzz thing. So I have an amplifier effect on it. This one probably has a lot, like some of the most effects on it. I don't really know what this thing does. I just, it sounded cool. So I just kind of put it on and played with the parameters until it sounded cool. But I have an amplifier, so it's louder. I have delay, which is kind of like echo. It's hard to explain. So like delay is it takes the sound and then it waits a little bit and then it plays the sound again over and over and over until it just like dissipates. So that's why after you hear the sound play, there's like this ding, 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 ding in your headphones. But, and then reverb just makes it sound more echoey. The point of reverb is to make it sound like it happened in like a concert hall or a room or something. So it wasn't just super completely flat. Like, do you hear the difference? It's a little more, has a little more uh, substance to it. And then I did use this sound. Hopefully this redeems the lameness that I use most of the buzzes in the song, but. <laughs> so this sound, this sound is Audrey when when she, when we were talking about going and finding like a bee or a bird flapping around or a bee buzzing around and she was like, go find one. This is like, it's edited so you can't really tell. I don't even remember what I did to it, but it sounds funky. And yeah, so that's Audrey saying, go find one. Well, it's not the go find one, it's just saying find one. You can kind of hear it. Find one, find one. And then this is the sprinkler sound which honestly sounds almost more just like rain hitting the ground than it does a sprinkler. I used that at the beginning of my song, I'll show you. This, I don't know if I actually ended up using that one. I think I might've used that somewhere. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. I don't think I used that one, but that was the rock hitting the sound. I think that was me hitting that weird like grate on the side of the house thing. It was probably something for air conditioning and this might have also come from the same thing. All right, so now I have my song loaded in. I have it like grouped a bunch, but honestly, I think the thing I am most proud of in this whole song is the snare, this thing right here. Oh no, 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 you can't hear that. You're not allowed to hear that. I was wondering why the sprinkler sound was still playing when I tried playing that. So the snare sample came from the shaker. Like the, like the sh 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 sh. I just smushed it so it just took like one of those little sh and then I EQ'd it to take up the middle part, like cut out the low and the high ends and just take the middle part. And then I put some reverb and a compressor on it. And I don't remember exactly how I ended up with that sound, but I did. The thing I wanted to explain is why I have two tracks for the snare. And that's because this track, these clips right here, is the main clip 
um, where is it? Where's the notes? There it is. So it's these things, just the snare clip, just the MIDI notes. If you don't know what this is, I have a video that explains what this is. So you should go watch it because it needs some love. Yeah. Anyway, so these are the notes, the rhythms of the snare. And then this track down here is the same rhythm, but just instead of on the G, it's on the A sharp higher. And it's hardly noticeable, but these tracks are just ever so slightly offset. I have to zoom way in for you to see it. And so this is a technique I learned about watching uh, AGR production breakdown. Uh, Ryan from AJR has done some videos on YouTube where he breaks down the production of some of their songs and in that he mentioned that there's a trick apparently that pro like producers use that they'll take a sound and then they'll replicate the sound in another track and just offset the other track by just like a millisecond by just like a tiny bit so it doesn't sound out of sync but it just like tricks your brain into thinking that the sound is a little wider than it is like it just makes the sound sound a little thicker. And so I gave that a try and it turned out well. Sorry, I'm drinking my my fresca while I'm doing this. <laughs> I don't know, that was very white girly. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, so that's the snare. I took that from the shaker. I'm very proud of it. And then with the kicks, I, I guess I ended up putting a compressor on this kick. But this is like... I used both kicks in sync because that's like a lower one and this one's a little higher. So like, they sound so weird by themselves, but when they're layered together, like, it sounds pretty good. That's, that's my percussion all put together. See? They sound weird on their own, but like layered together, and put together, it's not a bad kick. Could be better, but I mean, it was literally made of a sound of me kicking a trash can and stomping on a sprinkler cover. So, what else do you expect? I'm also kind of new at this whole thing. I'm not like a sound design pro. I'm just gonna like slowly show you the percussion section. So this is that shaker that I was talking about. So I just took the first two little sh 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 and I put this thing called Vinyl Distortion on it, which is what gives it that little bit of a distortion, which makes it sound more like a shaker. If you're wondering what Vinyl Distortion is, it's that. You know, the sounds that like give it the, like the effects that give a sound like that crackle to make it sound old. That's what Vinyl Distortion is. I just don't have the crackle because I learned that it'll keep crackling even when the sound is stopped and I didn't want that. So I just used the distortion part of it to give it more of a shaker sound. And then I have a little bit of these claps in here. I have them turned down so they're not super noticeable because they honestly, they sound kind of janky, but I think, I think they have a good spot sitting where they are. So that is the percussion stuff. Mm, you heard a little bit of a stuff. And then this is the bass stuff. So that's me pitching the, the buzzes, my phone vibration buzz way down. And so that's what I used for the bass is, is it's just the sound of my phone vibrating. Do you even recognize it anymore? It's pretty cool, right? So there's that. And then this, my track named Weirdo is, why isn't it on? Hello? Hello? I'm so confused why I like... Okay. Weird. Yeah! <laughs> so that's just kind of layered in there. And in the verse... <laughs> so this has an effect called an arpeggiator on it. So what I can do with that is... I don't know if it'll let me play my thing. Yes, okay, so you can play a chord. You can play like, what if you play one note, it just repeats it over and over at the rate. If you play two notes, it plays like that. So I basically just played the chords for the verse. Except 
you'll notice that that goes up and down faster. So what I did is I played one where I wanted it, and then I played the same chord way down low. So it had to go like, woo all the way over the place. <laughs> it's my favorite. It's so fun. I mean, it's not super noticeable in the track, but you, it's, it's, yeah, it's there. I think this was my buzz again, and I think so is this, this is why I was saying it's kind of lame. This one has tons of like reverb and delay on, nope, not delay, just tons of reverb on it, so it's really airy, atmospheric. And I think this is also my buzz. I'm sorry. Mm. You're not allowed to hear that. There's your, there's your preview. And then, like I said, at the very end of the song, I put a bunch of delay on the the hammock pole twinkle, so it just kind of echoes in. And it's a nice little chime. And yeah, I think that's about it. So, yeah, I don't have anything else to explain, I don't think, so let me know if you have any questions and enjoy the song. It's a beautiful day, the bees are buzzing, the birds are singing away, can keep me inside cause I'm so bored away from trees and the grass and the sky and the sun can keep me inside cause I'm having fun today cause it's a, a beautiful day unless it's cloudy but cloudy days are still beautiful I guess anyway I'm stuck inside same thing every day and every week oh my how can I go on I think I'm getting kind of bored Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Facebook's taking over my life, oh how I'm shook I think I'm getting kind of bored I look out the window, there's a new world out there I'm bored, I need something else to do I step outside, look up and say Wow! It's a beautiful day The bees are buzzing, the birds are singing away Can keep me inside, cause I'm so bored away from trees And the grass and the sky and the sun Can't keep me inside, cause I'm having fun today Cause it's a, a beautiful day Hey Beautiful day